this session we'll be discussing about the dictionary variable so basically dictionary variable has the key pair combination so for the understanding purpose i'm showing it in a excel file so the example of dictionary variable key and value okay like this it will be there. okay and yeah So assume that like this we have we have two keys and two values here. Okay. So like this the key pair combination will be created. So whenever we want to access the data, so we'll be accessing the data by using. Key. So I'll be creating the dictionary in automation anyway here. So. Just creating a port here. I'll say ready. Variable. Just create it. This. So let me create one dictionary type variable. For the better understanding, so I'm just uh, going to this variable panel and I'm clicking on this uh, new button. And here I'm selecting that as a dictionary. So when it's asked, then immediately it will ask the subtype. For suppose my dictionary is going to have only string type data, then you can go with the string. If you are sure that your dictionary is going to have only number type data, then you can go with the number. And if you are not sure that, and you, you may suspect that this particular dictionary is going to be have combination of the data like different different variables like uh, string number boolean like that you can go with the any any is a variable that can support any type of data that might be the number that might be the boolean that might be the string whatever it is so i have selected this and simply i'll say that dm Creating that and let me add the values here. So here I have selected any that. So I selected this and key as I'll give as a b and I'll give the name as check. And another key is yes, telling us that and I'll give you yes, yes, yeah. And one more. I give like uh, the same string type, and uh, this time I'll take the Tamil Nadu. Shall I'll take one more? Okay, I don't know any more CMs. Okay, uh, simply creating these three values dictionary. Okay, for now I just want to access the AP is PM. So simply, how can I access that? Is take that. Remember that whenever you are working with this dictionary, you should know the keys of that particular dictionary. Okay. Otherwise, we should go through the key loop. I'll show you in a while what is that key loop, dictionary key loop. <clears throat> For now, I'll be selecting the APCM details. So if I select and if I run it, it will be printing as yes, check -in. because dictionary in the dictionary variable, the value of AP key is check. -in. That's the reason it will be printing like check. -in. Okay. Just closing this. Like this, we can access the data from the dictionary. But here the major problem is. See, how can we know that how many keys are there and what are all those keys inside the dictionary? Okay. So, to avoid this issue, there is a loop inside 
blue package for this particular dictionary. If we go to this, if I go to the dictionary, see here, each key in the dictionary and each value in the dictionary. First, I'll show you the each value in the dictionary. So, and I'm selecting the CM dictionary here. <clears throat> and I'll be assigning it to the sample string. And I'll be pulling this message box to inside the loop. And here, I'll be printing like sample string. Now, all the values will be printed one by one automatically. and KCR will be printing here. So like this, we can access the values by using the values dictionary loop. In the same way, if you want to know the key names, then you can use the key dictionary loop. So same thing, if I run this now, this time it will be printing the keys. the keys are TN, AP, and TS. These are the keys we have. So now my challenge is I don't want to print the values directly. I want to print the values using the key. So at that time, in this loop, what I'll do is I'll take that dictionary variable in dictionary and I'll give some garbage value here. Like this, I'll be inserting. Let run. I'll be giving the syntax like this dictionary of the sample string. What is the sample string will hold? The sample string will hold the key values. See here it is hovering itself. If I run this now with the help of keys, I have printed and case. So with the help of keys, I have printed that values. So like this, we'll be dealing with the dictionary package. So these are the main concept about the dictionary, but there are a lot more uh, advanced concepts. So in the dictionary, these are all the different, different uh, advanced concepts. Okay, so these uh, things you can explore on your own. In general, we'll not be using them much. Okay, so this is about the dictionary packages.